Welcome to my channel, Unbiased LLC. Um, my name is Ashton, and and today's day is June 12, 2023, and this is my third class of Unbiased Sewing Camp. So, in today's class, Ashton will be showing me on this Singer Curvy sewing machine where all of the buttons he needs to function and operate this sewing machine. I will ask him where it's located and he will point it out to you guys. So the first thing we want to know is where is the hand wheel on this machine? Hand wheel is here. And which way do we turn the hand wheel Turn the hand wheel forward. What, what do you mean forward? Towards us. Towards us. Okay. Where is the on and off button on the sewing machine? Like the on and off button is right here. Okay. And what does the on and off button do? Um, um, it turns the sewing machine on and off. Okay. Where is the stitch pattern on this sewing machine? And can you point out where is the zigzag stitch? Yeah. And where is your straight stitch on this machine? Yeah. Where is your needle? Yeah. Where does the thread go? The thread goes up here. The thread what? The thread goes up here. Up here or? Um, on this this thing and where is the bobbin where does the bobbin, the bobbin go goes at the bottom here okay and where is the bobbin winder on this machine the bobbin winder is When you wind a bobbin, where does it go? Here? Yes. And where is your presser foot on this machine? Presser foot. Here? Yes. And what goes on the floor? What is that called? Uh, it's called the... Um, What do you put on it to make it move? Uh, um, my foot. So what would it be called? Um, uh, foot pedal? Yes, absolutely. So, let's turn on the machine. All right. Okay, so we are going to take our worksheet and we are going to use our hand wheel and we are going to stitch in a straight line, no thread, no bobbin thread, just the needle. So Ashton has to line this up with the presser foot and the needle and use his hand to get the lines straight on the paper. Now, you got to hold your paper and you need to turn your hand wheel at the same time. Make sure you're straight on the line.
do one more turn and then we'll take it off and see how we'll how you did with the with the hand wheel make sure your needle stays all the way up when you finish just like that Yeah, I went on the slide. How far? Uh, I was like right here. Let me see. Oh, that's the last one. It's okay. But you did pretty good. Say it was your first time. Let's see if we can see the stitch on the back. Good job. Got it straight all the way down? Well, I messed up it right there, but the rest is all straight down. Okay, do it again. What are you going to do now? Um, I'm going to do from here to here and leave the needle inside of here when I'm done. Because we are going to pivot. When we turn our fabric, it's called pivot. So we're going to stitch straight and then stop and then leave our needle in the paper and then we will go to the next step. So now we are going to lift up the, t the lever I will press the foot lever. Sit up. Come closer. Okay. And then we are going to pivot, which is turn our paper so that we can connect with that short line. And so we're going to sew on the short line and we're going to stop. When we finish the short line, leave our needle needle in the paper and then we're going to come back down the other line let's go so now we're going to do what lift our work press the foot lever and then we're going to turn. Which way does the machine feed the paper? This way. So how, which way should your paper be in order for it to feed towards the back? Thank this you. Way. Thank you. Now line it up. Okay. Put your left, push, press the foot level down. And then sew. Today, this is week three of Unbiased Sewing Camp for Kids, and this is um, Juneteenth, so happy Juneteenth, and um, today we will be learning how to wind a bobbin and also thread our sewing machine, so just stay tuned. Okay, so Ashton, what is it that you have in your hand? Uh, a bobbin. A bobbin. And where 
is your bobbin winder on this machine. Yes. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take our thread, take it off the spool, and we want to find where the thread starts unraveling. You got it? Okay, now sit your thread down. Just sit it down on the table. But take the tail end of the unravel, okay? Take the tail end, pull it towards you, bring the thread towards you, just like that. Just let it sit there. And then so you want to take your bobbin. Listen, listen, don't do anything. Wait till I'm telling you. On the bobbin, they have holes. Do you see those holes? Okay, they have holes on this side, and they also have holes on this side. But these two holes right here don't go all the way through. The only ones that go all the way through are the, are the other ones, right? So it'll go all the way through on both sides, right? So what you want to do is find one of the holes that you can actually see through and point it out to me. So you can see through the hole. Okay, so hold on, we're coming back. All right, so you can see through that hole, right? So I want you to take the end of your thread and what you're gonna do is have your bobbin sitting just like this, hold it, without touching, the, without covering the holes and then where is your hole again? Here. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is take the end of this thread and put it through, up in the middle and make it come through the top of the hole. Let me see if I can help you. So, this is the open hole, right? You're going to take the, where the thread? You're going to take the thread, and you're going to. No, but what I thought it was that one. But you have to find the hole that's open. I'm not going to, you're going to have to do it yourself. Here. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That's why I say make sure the hole is open. And once you see it pull up, take your other finger and pull it all the way out. Pull it all the way out, just like that. Okay, stop. So now what you're going to do is take this and sit it on top of your bobbin winder. Hold the thread, don't let the thread go. Put that on top of there. Okay, hold it, take your thread, and put it back on top of your spool pin. Okay, just leave that there. You got enough tail where it won't unravel. Even though it's a better way to do this, I just had to show it to you like that, okay? Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. I just wanted to make sure that you knew how to put it in, okay? So we're going to take that out, and you're going to do it the correct way, okay? So, you're going to take your thread, Stand. you might have to stand up for this. No, right there. You're going to take your thread, and then, let me tell you what you're going to do. You're going to take your thread, find the end of it, find the end of it. Okay, so, on this machine, they have guides. So this is how you guide the thread into the machine. So your first guide is right here. You see they have this little hook on the, um, on the panel, right? So 
you're going to take this thread and just hook it just like that you see how it just hooks okay Okay, hold on. All right, so you hooked it there, right? And then the guide tells you to bring this over and then you're going to connect it to this little dial right here. So the way that it's showing you to do it is to bring it all the way around. So go all the way around. That, 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 it needs to go under. And you're going to take it and then hook it onto this. this. This is a disc. It's called a disc. You hook it like this. You see how it went underneath the disc? Okay, I want you to do it. Take your time and do it. It goes under the disc. Don't pull so hard. There you go. You got it. So now, this is ready to be for the winder, okay? So now you're gonna take the end of your thread, find your hole again, put it through the middle. Make sure you catch on to your thread. You got it? Okay, so now you're going to Take your bobbin and place it back. Let me see how you got it. Um, so if you have this hole, make sure this hole is always facing out. If your thread was on the other side, then you have to turn it, okay? So now you're just gonna put it on top of the bobbin winder. You, not me. Okay, pull the end, the end of your thread. Okay, so now, but it's supposed to be on top like this, not down there and not down there, okay? So now the next thing I want you to do is take your bobbin and slide it over to the right. You heard that click? You have to hear the click in order for you to know that it's in in the position that it needs to be in to wind the bobbin okay so with your other hand hold the thread and then i want you to turn your machine on okay so now your machine is on let me now i forgot to um plug in the foot pedal hold on So I want you to sit down for this though, so that your foot can touch. All right. So now, listen to me good, okay? I want you to lightly touch the foot pedal, stop, and then I forgot to open your scissors, now I want you some left-handed scissors so what you're going to do is listen you're going to take your scissors and pull your thread all the way up hold it all the way up you see this little right above the bobbin the bobbin i want you to cut the thread off at that point keep it straight come all the way down till you get to the back there you go you got to keep the thread in your hand until you cut it off, okay? Good job. All right, so now finish winding your bobbin. Go lightly. No, 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 just your foot pedal now. But tap on it lightly. You don't want to spin too fast, okay? Go ahead, keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. 
do you see what's happening? Your thread is unraveling, right? And it's going in there. Yes, and it's traveling through through where you put the hook to this little cage, and then now it's going on, on to the other side. So this is how you wind your bobbin to put down here in your case. So we can stop. So now, what I want you to do is click your bobbin to the left. You heard the click? Okay. So now I want you to find the, your thread that's on the bobbin. Don't pull it. Just look. Just look for it. Hold it up in the air. And we are going to snip it in the middle. Just the one thread. Snip it. Okay. Leave it. Leave that there. So now take the tail end of this. Unwind it from here. Right? Okay, not all the way, because what we're doing is, stand up so you can see. What we're doing is we're going to follow this guide. Hold on. Okay, we're going to follow this guide so that we can thread our needle now. Okay, so this says go up, come around here, and then right here they have another arrow that tells you to bring this thread down into this channel. Now you can sit down so you can see the bottom of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Pull it down, pull your thread just a little bit. Pull it, pull it, pull it. There you go, now hold it. Now, down here, they have another channel. Do you see this little groove right here? And it's red? Yes. Yes, it's red. So this is what I want you to do. Pull this down into that channel. And then connect that with that. You see how it went on this side? Okay. I'm going to let you do it. Then I'll tell you the next step. You have to use two hands. You cannot do it with one hand. Got it. All right. So now you're going to take this thread and hook it into this little hook. So I gotta take the end? No, you're gonna, where you are right now. Two hands, sit up and do it with two hands. Okay, so now we are hooked in all the hooks, right? So now bring your presser foot down and take the end of your thread we're going we gonna, to um, take the end of the thread and we are going to put it into the hole of this needle. And be careful not to touch the bottom of the needle because it's sharp, okay? And when you get your thread inside that hole, you're going to pull your threads to the back. So is the hole like at the hole? Oh, I see it. Push it, push the thread, push the thread. When you get it in the hole, push it, push it. I'ma just unplug the foot pedal so we don't have no accidents. You can't see the hole? No, I see it. I'm to okay, let, let me show you a trick that yeah, I- I just got it. Okay, you gotta be- when you get it, you got to be able to push the push the thread through. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Okay, now pull it with the other finger. At the bottom, don't go to the top. Push it. Okay, Brent, come to this side. Look, you got more on this side. Push it in some more if you need to. Push it in. There you go. Now pull it all the way to the back. Okay. Was that hard? Yeah, it was a little because the thing's so small. And I thought it was like at the top instead of like at the top. 
Okay. So now, what I want you to do is walk me through how to thread the needle without taking the thread out. Just tell me what we need to do in order to get the thread back down to here. Where do we start? From here. Okay. And then we hook it. Okay. And then we go around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get it here up, then we pull it all the way down. Okay. And when we do it, do the hook, and then we put it, no, up and we take it here, put it through here, and we pull it from off the back. Good job. All right, so now, where is your bobbin at the moment? A bobbin. So take it off of there. Hold on to it just like that. Take it off of there. Okay, so now, this is what I want you to do. You took it off of there just like that, right? Do you see that your thread is hanging and it looks like a P in your hand? Oh. Up. So now you got to do it again. You got to hold it. You have to hold it. Okay, so now, do you see that in your hand, this looks like a P with the thread hanging down? Okay, so this is how you put the, it's, it's like a P, but this is how you know that you are putting your bobbin in correctly because it only goes into the machine one way, okay? You cannot do it any other way. So, it looks like a P, and you're going to drop it. I'm going to just take this off. You're going to drop it into the bottom of this with the tail hanging down looking like a P, okay? So, I drop it like this? No. Just like that. Sit it inside. All right. So, now... It's down in there, and then we have like a little groove right here. I need you to run your finger across here real lightly because I don't want you to cut yourself. Back and forth. Do you feel that extra little piece of something sticking out? Okay. So what I want you to do is hold the bobbin with one hand, take your thread with the other hand, and then make sure that your thread goes into that groove. And that's how we're going to make sure our bobbin is in correct. So take your finger. You have to give yourself clearance. So now take this thread and rub it up against that till you feel it. You will feel the resistance. Keep going. Keep going. All the way. Just like that. Now take your finger off the bobbin and off the thread. Now do you see... On this machine, they have a guide where they want you to put the thread into this guide, just like that. All right, so now we will put the top of this back on. We'll work on that part some more, okay? All right, so we are all set to sew. But what I want you to do is tell me, when I take my bobbin off of the bobbin winder, which way should my bobbin be facing? There's another bobbin. You can practice with this one. Tell me which way my bobbin should be facing in order to put it inside of the bobbin case. Should be this way, like a P. Is that a P? No, it's this one. Okay, it's absolutely. This one. Like a P. Always like a P. The tail hanging down and then the curve looks like a P. And that way you know that your bobbin is in correctly. Okay? And then once you get it inside the bobbin case, what are we trying to feel for? For the, um, the, um. It's like a groove. Yeah, like the groove. Like a groove. So we putting what inside the groove? Thread. We putting the thread inside the groove. Absolutely. Okay. Good job. Good job. Give me five. All right. Good job.